last 12 days have been extraordinarily difficult for myself, my family, uh, but not only us. I think it's been very difficult for the city of Tucson, uh, southern Arizona, you know, and our country. I don't think we're ever going to fully understand the why and the how and, um, you know, the reason for what happened on the 8th of January. Um, you know, it's a loss of innocent life, the injury of a dozen people, you know, the death of a nine-year-old girl, a federal judge, and the uh, serious traumatic injury to my wife, Gabrielle. Um, so we'll never fully understand that. Um, you know, emotionally, this has been a challenge uh, for all of us. Um, but what this has done is it's certainly shown me, and I think not only our country, but the entire world, uh, what Tucson is all about. You know, it showed them a different side of Tucson, and I think all Americans are very proud of what they've seen. And I know my wife, Gabrielle, would be very proud of how this community's responded to this uh, tragic situation. The memorials outside this hospital, in front of the Safeway, in front of Gabby's office, has re been really a, a testament to what this community is all about. The love and support that we've received is uh, a bit overwhelming. Uh, it's actually uh, a bit difficult to even keep up with, but we are very, very appreciative. And I want to apologize for all those folks that have done so much for us that we haven't recognized yet. I know one of the first things Gabby's going to want to do as soon as she's able to is start write, writing thank you notes. And I've already reminded her of that. 